Hey, what's good guys? This is Chris from weartesters.com. Welcome to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. It is the only sneaker channel here on YouTube where you come for the review and stay for the conversation. However, this, this video is not a review. We already did one and that's what this video is about. It's a semi retraction of tech specs. So for those of you guys that don't know, in the blogosphere of the internet, meaning the sneaker blogs, which is what weartesters.com is, there is a site for Nike news where bloggers or anybody can go and get Nike news. And it's called nikeinc.com. Now that is where they'll normally post a lot of their press releases. And that's where they posted the press release for these guys right here. Every blog, not all of them, but almost every blog will copy and paste things. So what they actually said originally, they changed some things. They had made the traction wider. They changed the vamp. They had slimmed the heel. All of those to me are not really performance changes. To me, those are cosmetic changes. They might alter the fit slightly, but not anything crazy, not pro tro in my opinion, right? The last thing that they ended off the statement with though, is that they added full length zoom. That right there is an upgrade. That's a ProTro feature because a ProTro is a performance retro. Since then, somebody on Instagram, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull them up real quick. So this person hit me up on Instagram, on my Instagram page. He actually had placed a comment on the thumbnail image of this on my Instagram feed saying, Hey, like link is in the bio for like, if you wanted to check out the review or whatever, right? He then says Nike's website info for the Kobe 4 ProTro states this and he quotes it. The foam midsole is extra soft, but incredibly resilient for a springy, comfortable feel. Nike Nike zoom cushioning in the heel provides energy returning responsiveness. Nothing about full length zoom. So I was like, oh, that's a weird red flag. I've been down this road before. Jordan brand, Air Jordan 15, retro. I bought these myself. Okay, so I have a right to be pissed. I'm getting heated now as I'm like starting to, cause I was really mad when I found this out, okay? And I decided not to jump on a camera and record because normally when you're really mad, you say things and like it makes you look stupid or whatever. So I wanted to like calm down, like kind of like process the information, really confirm what's going on and all this stuff. So that's what I did. So he hits me up and says that. And then I ask him for proof. Can you send me a screenshot? Now, mind you, he's from Australia. So this little screenshot that you see right here is from Nike's Australian website. But it straight up says right in there, smooth and Responsive. The foam midsole is extra soft, but incredibly resilient for a springy, comfortable feel. The Nike Zoom cushioning in the heel provides energy returning responsiveness. Nothing about full length zoom. So then I go back to nikeinc.com to read again over the press release for this shoe right here, because they said at the end of everything that they had changed, the vamp, the heel, the traction, and full length zoom air. I go to nikeinc.com. That last bit where it stated full length zoom air has been mysteriously vanished. Like it's like they deleted it. Look, that's the part that pisses me off because for one, you guys had done two errors now in the press release for this shoe. The first one was when you stated the original tech specs. They stated that the original shoe had heel zoom air and four foot lunar light. Lunar light was never used in a Kobe shoe. It was lunar long, the original version of lunar foam. And that's the stuff that people did not like. So that was issue number one. But I was just like, hey, F it. Everybody makes a mistake, right? Like I don't care. It's just a typo. I do it all the time. Then what ended up happening apparently is that the second error that they did in there was the tech spec for the new model stating that it was full length zoom air when it actually is not. So I ended up pulling out my insole. I scraped away some of the areas I could obviously I could see the impression of the zoom air unit in the shoe and it's only in the heel. And then I wanted to like confirm that. So I stabbed the center of the shoe because if it was full length zoom, it would pop. It didn't pop. It was just foam. I stabbed foam. There's nothing in these. There's no full length zoom in the shoe. Now, some people are going to be like, well, maybe you just thought that you read full length zoom. No, I did not. Again, these other blogs copy and paste. So you could see here from sneakernews.com that they state that this shoe features a full length zoom air unit. Soul Collector also states these shoes feature a full length zoom air unit. And again, these are copied and pasted. It's word for word of what the original press release said. Kicks on Fire states full length zoom air unit. Nice kicks, zoom air unit, full length, same thing. Everybody's stating the same thing. Then you come over to our site, Wear Testers. I go through all of the updated features and then I also state full length zoom air. That to me, again, that's the Pro Tro feature, right? Just like it was in the Pro Tro one. So not only did Nike publish the press release for these shoes with inaccurate information, but then they went and altered the information after the fact without telling anybody. So now all of us as news outlets are unintentionally spreading false information and that I think is the number one thing that pisses me off. I pride myself on being correct usually on tech specs, okay? I'm not always 100% correct, but I am usually correct. Now you made me lie to everybody. I did it in my write-up 
and I did it in the video. You did say though that you did not feel. Correct. I did say in the video that when I tried these on, the forefoot felt dead to me, but I felt the, the zoom in the rear, which to me was a little weird because I love full length zoom and I've used it for years. I know what it is. I did say that though, but I read, okay, I read with my own eyes, full length zoom. And everybody that had reported on this shoe from YouTubers to blogs stated full length zoom. So you cannot tell me that 100% of us were inaccurate. The second thing is like, if you want to be like, well, foot action says that the shoe actually does feature full length zoom air. That is true that foot action does state that as of right now. However, where all of these retailers get their tech specs from is from the brand itself. So the brand, the number one place where this information was false to begin with then spreads false information to all the retailers on accident because somebody inserted some information that wasn't supposed to be there. Now everybody's lying, not intentionally, but everybody's lying. The main liar though is Nike. They went and changed or altered the press release. They did not tell anybody, including its retailers, including press outlets and all that stuff or blogs who then could relay that information to consumers because all of us are going in to buying this shoe right here thinking that we're paying $175 for a shoe that has been pro troed performance retro an upgraded retro with full length zoom air. Instead, what we're getting is a dumbed down version of the Kobe 4, much like what we get with Jordan Brand's retros. Now my face feels hot, okay? Because, because I spent $175 on this for a foam midsole. That really pisses me off, dude. Like just as a consumer, I'm pissed. You lied to me. You made me lie to other people. You made other people lie to other people. And the only thing that you did about it was that you destroyed the evidence. The proper thing to do when a company fucks up is to say publicly, hey, we fucked up. I'll forgive you. Everybody, everybody thinks that this shoe has full length zoom. Now I've already played in these shoes. They are more comfortable than the original ones for right now. With full length zoom, they would stay that way for the, the life of the shoe. But with foam, foam bottoms out, especially if it's soft foam, because that means it's open cell foam. And open cell foam has little pockets of air. The more that you press on that, shit, like with your body weight, the pockets pop and then the foam bottoms out. That's just what happens. It happens to all foam. It happens to ETPUs. It happens to regular foams. It's just that some are more resilient and some last longer. It'll happen to react just like it happened to Lunar, just like it happens to Phylon, everything. So even if this is not EVA or Phylon, if it's React or if it's Lunar or whatever it might be, you would think that they would say that in the press release because that would be a protro feature. React or Lunar is like their stuff. It's what they do. It's why they call it what it is. They don't call it Phylon for a reason because it's better than Phylon. It's a little bit of a different mixture of foam. That's how they advertise it. So if this stuff right here was anything but Phylon, they would have said it. So you don't think it was an honest mistake? I think that adding that full length zoom was an honest mistake, but I think hiding it is purposeful. Do you think they waited to hide it till after everybody bought them? No, I don't know when, you because you can't tell when that original press release was updated. But they know that all the outlets had published. That's the part that I'm really pissed about. So I just want to let everybody know that I was wrong. The shoe does not have full length zoom air. Instead, it has heel air unit or a heel zoom air unit, I should say, and it has a full length, very soft, very comfortable file on midsole. Nothing's in the front. There's no lunar there's none of that stuff if you want to buy the shoe if you want to return the shoe i don't know what i want to do right now i almost went out and bought another pair to cut in half but i stopped myself because i've already spent 175 dollars somebody over there made a mistake the brand should own up to it apologize and either offer everybody that bought this shoe a refund and the ability to keep the shoes or just be like yo here's a voucher for the 175, you can go spend it at Nike.com. That way they're not really losing any money. Like whatever money that they give out, they still, which is what brands do. You know what I mean? Like if we go to a movie and there's an issue, they're not gonna give us cash back. They're gonna give us a coupon to go then watch a movie at their theater again. It's simple, which I don't disagree with. I think that those things are fine. But yeah, I just wanna let everybody know, at least that everybody that watches us, this shoe does not have full length zoom air like it was originally stated. I am very irritated by that. I'm very irritated that I was wrong about it. Normally I question things and this was the one time when I read it and I tried it on and like I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna accept it. They said, because the last one like had a full length zoom and so then I play in them and I'm like, well, they are comfortable. Like it's not like they're uncomfortable, but the thing is though, is that you lied. I don't think that that's cool. That's all I'm saying, man. Just be honest, dude. Like, I don't know why it's so hard to be honest. It's so irritating. But yeah, I don't know what you want to do with this information, everybody. But yeah, you can pull out your insoles. If you wanted to stab the center, you're just going to go through foam. You will not pop your air unit. Uh, you can also feel where the air unit stops. So if you run your finger from the heel down to the midfoot, you can feel where there's the bump. 
the transition from air to foam. So if it was full length zoom, you would just start your finger here and you would feel it all the way through, it would be even. The fact of the matter is that it's not. This little end cap right here, this, this space is where they pump the air through and then they heat seal it closed. That's actually right here at the end where the air unit ends because it's about that big. So if you run your finger in there, you can actually feel it where it stops. Yeah, I'm pretty upset by it just because, uh, again, it makes me look like, like I lied. On top of that, I went and was excited to play in this shoe again because this is one of my favorite shoes. I just was expecting an upgraded version, not a downgraded version. But thank you guys for watching. For those of you that do, I appreciate all your guys' support. And sound off below, let us know your thoughts. Did you buy the shoe already? If so, did you feel the same way that I feel, where it's like, yo, why does the forefoot not feel like Zoom Air? And uh, yeah, you can do with what you want to with the information. You can hit up Nike, all that stuff, see what they're gonna do about it. I think that they should apologize, first off, and then say like, whatever it is you're gonna do to remedy this situation, whether it's give people coupons or whatever. Thank you guys again, and until next time guys, have a good one.